One time when I was in Mexico, there was a there was a person that <laughs> they went in for like a hug, and then they just like picked me up and like swung me around. Also in Mexico, I had a couple people like straight up grab my face and try and kiss me on the lips. Um, when I was like 15, I had people like grab my ass when I was like 15 during pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. It's not a big deal. It's <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is what it is. I mean, I couldn't, like, do anything about it. But, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, you know, when you... <laughs> it's just, it's so... God. The thing is, is that, you know, I get that it's... it's. I don't know if, if, if culture in, in Mexico is just, like, different with that kind of thing. But, um... Because people in the States didn't really, didn't really... People in the States had, like, you know, had lots of personal boundaries. But, you know, I try and think of just, like, the other way around of, like, you know, of, like, that happening to a 15-year-old girl, you know? And it's just, oh, God. Dude, that, uh, if, if someone if someone did that at a, at a convention to a 15-year-old girl, jail. 100%. It's crazy. <clears throat> Kissing on the cheek, I would say, is standard, but not on the lips. Yeah, I mean, like people would 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 definitely like. I would I would get that, you know. And and when I was in Mexico, you know, I I would I would just go in for a hug with everybody because I you I would usually just you know shake hands and whatnot. Um, but in Mexico, everyone would go in for a hug, and they'd feel kind of weird if I didn't if I just shook their hand. So I was like, you know what, just. Fuck it. They paid a lot of money to be here, a lot of money to come up here and take a picture with me. I'm just gonna, you know, give them a hug. It's fine. Um, a lot of people in Mexico are really physical, getting to the point of actual harassment. I mean, it, that's what it was. A couple, like a handful of times, but you know, um, it is, it is what it is. It's fine. But Umbra, hundred bits. Unfortunately, this is common in Mexico with some female fans. I'm so sorry for that. We were very warm people, but some do get carried away. I'm so sorry, Chandler. That's a, I, I don't see everyone like that. You know, it's not like, you know, it's it's not like it's it was that for everybody. It's just that's how it was, and it just so happened to be in Mexico a handful of times. You know, it's just, you know, I, and it's not like I'm scared to go back for another convention. Um, it's just, you know, it's just happened a few times. And nothing I can do about it. So, yeah. And it, it was a, it's it's it, it wasn't like I was traumatized by it or anything, you know. It's just it just it was just like it happened and it would happen. And I'd be like, please, please don't do that. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and and the great thing was was that at that at that convention. They had like, they had like six security guards, these big ass dudes in like suits, and it was great because what would happen is like you know I'd be like hey how's it going like going for a hug, and then sometimes they just I'd be like all right let's let go and they wouldn't let go and I'd I'd be like okay, and then and then the, the security guards would come up and they'd straight up like pry the, the person off of me. <laughs> it was so. My dad would like be backstage just fucking dying laughing. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Well, because a couple of times, what well, one is, um, because in in Mexico how how the conventions work is like, all right, let's MS Paint this.